Tomorrow's new comic book day. What are you getting tomorrow, Andy? Ooh, um, McClay. It's you a huge comic book day, actually. I think it, there's a lot of good books coming out tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm really thankful, though, that the replacement damaged high ratio variants from last week made it to my LCS this week. So that Oof. Star Wars Adventures high ratio book that's gone bonkers, I, I was able to get still. And um, there's a couple other. And I'm looking forward to getting those picked up because of the fact that you don't want to pay the cheaper price <laughs> on last Wednesday. Um, I'm rambling now. But there, you're right. There are a lot of really good books out. I think... I'm not. I'm not going to pick Punisher as much as I kind of want to. There is. Uh, you should oh. get and read it though, right? Yeah, I'll probably read it digitally to start to see if uh, we're going to pick that. Read one, it what? But, but digitally. Oh, thanks to something else. Dang you! Uh, we live. Age of the Paladins comes out tomorrow as well. But there's that Punisher cover A. And actually, let's dip into this while you have this up, Brian. We were talking about this earlier. With uh, the logo swap, read so they chose to stick with the OG logo for cover A. But let's look at the other covers. This is pretty. The yeah, timeless, timeless one is good. And um, uh, Sozo. Mm. Mm. But they did some of the logo swaps. This one's kind of cool right here, but yeah, I don't like the logo swap. It's kind of weird. The Bjorn one looks good. Oh, yeah. I want to see the face that goes with that skull, though. That, that's what I want to see. Yeah. yeah. So this is... um Got big teeth. This looks really good, but that, that's scary. That's way too similar to the Spawn um, one that just came out, what, three months ago? It's interesting. Very, very interesting. It's almost like Punisher... And Crossbones had a kit. <laughs> I'm excited for Palad. Um, we uh, we live Age of Paladins though to revisit that universe and find out what's next from Aftershock Comics because We Live has gotten or has developed quite the fan following and has kind of become an occult smash. And the the people that are into it are really into it. I mean, they've gone four printings and they've done metal variants and they just get gobbled up and gobbled up and uh, it's been really good so i'm looking forward to getting back into that storyline is it is it actually palladians it yeah. could be i have no you know because, how good no, i am in english no, no, well, no the thing is the thing is palladians are like the new age alien species that allow the new age that talk to aliens and the galactic federation that are on the shut up nerd yeah i know i'm serious like no it's a weird it's a weird rabbit hole like it's it's part of the new new age right now it is palladians where they're like alien you know from the pleiades the star system yeah yeah oh okay and they channel like i'm speaking and the galactic federation says and, and there's all these like pretty girls channeling and they get tons of views on youtube um and you know they're putting it into a comic, you know. This my brain just goes to Paladins for some reason. It's just the Diablo version of me. I Are don't you know. getting um, the solo Chewbacca tomorrow, Andy? I buy everything Star Wars now, so I hesitate to even talk about it because I just buy all of it. I, I heard am... there's talk that you there might be um, you might meet Han Solo's dad in it. Have you guys heard that? Oh, I heard that it was going to have some first appearances in it, but I don't know any solid proof yet. It's Guggenheim, though. And we all know how well Guggenheim uh, did on last uh, the last flight, last out. flight out. Yeah, which issue number five comes out tomorrow. Is, yep. Is that the final issue? No, issue six is. Six, okay. Unless they've extended it. You guys really have me keyed into creative teams and writers now because of the content that uh, Tales from the Flip Side and Brian that you do here on the channel. You guys have me really keying in on writers and creative teams, and I absolutely love it because Han Solo and Chewbacca, not something that I would normally pick up but except for the fact that it's Star Wars related. But then when I saw Guggenheim's name on it, and I'm like, yes, I'm not missing out on this. I'm going to go to several LCSs if I have to to at least get a cover A to read because I didn't order, I didn't put it on my pull list. I mean... You guys kind of, if you watch my channel, you know my struggle where I'm trying to trim my pull list so I'm not spending 200 bucks a week on new books. Star Wars books now are like the image number one books in like the 2010 to 12 era. There's a new Star Wars book. It's like, I'm getting it. Don't know what's going to, what you might miss. 
Well, because there's because there's become some real validity to the fact that uh, they're writing these storylines, they're creating these comic series for the possibility of on-screen content down the road. That's uh, something people have talked about that really seems to uh, have some um, some formation coming together, some foundation coming together, and uh, the the crumbs leading the trail of kind of that aspect. Who's your I favorite would... Star Wars character <sighs> right now? Right now, uh, Black or Santon. Um, okay, what if Kathleen Kennedy wrote a series? Would you buy it? Yeah. Is Black Chrysanthemum the first comic, originally comic character that Did went you... to live action? Like, of all the Star Wars, like, is that the, is he the only one? No, I'm sure there are others, and I'm, I'm sure that, uh, a massive Star Wars fan out there, somebody that uh, upper echelon Star Wars knowledge above me could chime in and say who it well, is. So, real quick, did you see the Crimson Rain? Yeah. The the Raza Raza covers there. I like the that Raza covers. Yeah. Crazy. Well, the Raza covers are b- the best Crimson Rain covers. They're the only Crimson Rain books you should buy from the first one, two, and three. Where is it? Why am I missing it? Why am oh, I not seeing it here? Crimson Rain. I thought you Where just the hell had is it? it. Where is it? Crimson Rain. Uh, uh, there's I'm serenading the crowd while you find your cover. Crimson I think it's further. Rain. I think it's further up. Here it is. It's right here. I got it. I already saved it. It's one of my books. So this cover by Nakayama, yeah. right? I mean, it's kind of it, the there's something wrong with the website right now, so it's not coming in very great. But it's got that, yeah that that character on it. This cover here's your black chrysanthemum. There you go, Laroca. That's great. And here's the Raza cover. All the yeah, connecting the, the Raza covers. Friend. Oh man, they're so good. Just so good luck good. getting those in really high grade. Yeah. yeah. Penguin random house. Penguin, right? They're still and, trash. And, Plus, well, it's Marvel paper. Yeah, the Marvel paper is bad. Like, you saw Star Wars uh, Darth Vader number 20 going out with those Sprouse variants in the second print. All of those are just. Yeah. The paper quality is terrible. Yeah. The cardboard shortage ain't because of Diamond or Penguin House, that's for sure. No. <laughs> Cantankers is right. This set's going to be awesome. I, I'm sorry for not keeping up with the chat uh, in the last 10 minutes, but um, I am just in, just enthralled with everything Star Wars lately, and it's like it's like TMNT. It's like the Turtles. Like Even if I can't make time to read it, I at least want it for those rainy day 30-book reads where I go through everything. And it's starting, it's starting to uh, pay off, honestly. The last year and a half, two years of Star Wars books that we're picking up are kind of, kind of coming to fruition, kind of seeing that holding their own. So this is the International Women's Day pick. It is. No, I, I don't know. That's a bad joke. I do. Ha- oh. I do have. I do have a pick for that actually, though. We'll get into that in a little bit. McClay's finding something. McClay's gonna have something good for us. I got some. I got some good stuff. So this right here. Yeah, little that's monsters. Yeah. I like. Oh, yeah. I don't like the Jeff. The the other. The Jeff Lemire cover, the cover B or whatever it is. Yeah, the Nguyen cover is great. Dustin Nguyen is is just a he's a great great cover artist. I say always that because I always mess up saying his name. Oh yeah, here's like the uh, monkey cover, which is it's okay. I mean, it's this not is bad. supposed to be a vampire story, right? Oh, dude, this looks awesome. And here's the little mirror cover. the The Nguyen cover is so good though. So I think this is a great this is a great pick right here. Um, just, this cover is just so good. That is so good. Um, this is another interesting book. This hit me book. That's what I yes, especially yeah. for the Jeff Deckel cover. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So be on the lookout. Like this is the Diodato Junior cover. Um. And then here's another one just for cover. I, Betty and Veronica man, we're, number we're, one. We're we're mind gelling tonight. I'm yeah. Just crossing them off. <laughs> cool. dude this week is big like there yeah. is a yeah. ton of great books this week like yeah. i, I picked super four cheap. of them yeah and that's I not pick... even like a, a variant that's a, the regular cover right yep yep and, and i picked four books and i guarantee like these other guys will pick books that i haven't picked there's so many great books mm-hmm. this week yeah. all right let me go back is that looks like d'onofrio on the book uh... kind of yeah what do you got, Dink? Uh, I'm just going to go with uh, Red Room, Trigger yeah. Warnings. Yeah. Yes. Follow up to Red Room and um, because it reminds me of that true indie 
90s indie goodness oh, that alternative it, indie you just passed it um because um, yeah and, and i love this kind of stuff and we used to have more of it but now every publisher is vertigo basically yeah. yo because yeah. it used to be like you know fanta graphics and all this like edgy really alternative stuff that really pushed the boundaries of comics but now it's all just optionable stories vertigo everywhere like and that's good i love that i love vertigo was my favorite imprint at the time um but i miss this stuff this hand drawn this like really um meticulous like you can feel the love and the work and um and the in it like no inhibitions no restrictions like kind of edgy kind of storytelling um yeah and i can't yeah. wait i can't wait to read more you like, see all the covers for it look at this Ooh, look at pulp this. fiction homage yeah that's a good one. That's a, that's a lot of junk in that truck. That is a good yeah. one, bro. <laughs> that's some like oh, that's almost like some Frank Cho goodness. Yeah. Thick. Yeah. That's a good one. Um, this is the um, Momoko one. She does the same mistress character. She's all over this week. She's all over every week. Yeah. But I love the uh, Zap Comics mm -hmm. homage they do. Here's the Momoko. Yeah. That looks exactly yeah. like a Venom cover recently, yeah. Ven like Venom 26 or something. Yeah. This is the Zap Comics homage, and it's so good. Ooh. Gross, but awesome. Yeah. Rug doing... Uh, um, it reminds me of like, uh, like Crumb. British, Crumb, British yeah. Yeah, Crumb. yeah, really and good. Like and and their you know and their YouTube channel cartoonist KFab amazing yeah, channel best. yeah yep. it's seriously they should win awards um, a rat I love how that's do you guys know the story of like how when there's rats that that there's tons of rats together they have this thing where their tails get tied mm -hmm. this is kind of like the same thing because mm -hmm. when you see those those monster rat piles where their tails get tied they're all trying to run one way and this is what it looks like oh gross man. Ed Piscor, man, he's he's good stuff. His X Men stuff was so good. Yeah. No. Um. Are you good, Dan? You have more? Yeah. No. I mean, this yeah. Devil Rain is very interesting too. Did you guys see this? Yeah, that's one I had on mine also. Just well, just from loving that from Zdarsky. I haven't been reading yeah. many of the the, the spinoffs, but this cover is great. Really, really good. That um, Eternals ten is supposed to be the kickoff for the event this summer. The Avengers versus Eternals versus X Men or whatever. Oh, oh great, no. great. Um, that yep. yeah, Star Wars it is all summer. All right, they're co these covers for Eternals are so good. Yeah, yeah. Ribic, isn't it? Yep. Yep. And, then, and I love how you see the celestial behind them like that with the snow on it like that. That's just so good. I used to love his Thor covers. Yes. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Hail Thanos, part four. That's awesome. Let's see what the the Rion Gonzalez looks like. That's really nice. Wow, that reminds me of Colleen Duran, or who did uh, Distant Soil. That oh, one. yeah. Interesting. And then there's a uh, Carnage Forever variant, which is kind of crazy. Carnage for never. Yeah, get rid of him. <laughs> Carnage. So, there's man, so many good books out this week. Yeah, there's a. I mean, I'm not giving up on Naomi yet. Naomi season two number one starts tomorrow as well. I'll definitely be reading that digitally. Yeah. And then. Um, you said international women's pick. I got two. One for Amazon, one for Morrow. That trial of the Amazon's number one from DC. Yeah. You just kind of mm -hmm. passed it. There's a Jen Bartel cover that's freaking awesome. I, I do wonder who will win. Two yeah. over. There you go. Right. Yeah, like, has the Rose it's Bash. The, yeah. Rose this Bash. Is... And then there's the. Yeah, that's the Rose Bash. Yeah. It's the wraparound, right? One there. over. Ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that. Yeah. Bartel? Yeah, Bartel. Holy crap! And it's a thirteen ninety nine for that. What? Variant. Yeah, this is like a one in one thousand or yeah. something, right? This thing. Yeah, she's got one that's like 
the regular one, and then she's got like what glow in the hyper, dark or some shit. Yeah, it's a one in one hundred fluorescent hyper pink one. Yeah. So. So. And then uh, Marvel's also got their Women of Marvel number one. There's an oh, Ashton yeah. Witter cover for that. That's badass. Yeah, where is that? Gwen vs. a curse comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. This looks good. The Captain uh, Carter cover. Yeah. Where's the women of Marvel? Why Probably don't... down. Get down because you're in what S's. Doesn't it go by? I think uh... it was. Oh yeah, it goes by. I think it was in the, near the top. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I saw yeah. it. Yeah. It... <laughs> hey, this is like freezing uh... up on us. Yeah. This is weird. Weird. It's like. <laughs> It's going to be all the way at the bottom. Yeah, more. Seven Secrets issue is. 15 tomorrow as well. But yeah, the Ashley Witter cover, of course, um, let's go with the yellow one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with Honey Badger. That's a good yeah. one. I just don't like the trade. They should have put a cross the top more. So. This is the uh, Sousa, the Sousa Jubilee. Huh. That's a good one. Yeah. Reminds me of the cartoon. That reminds me of Wonder Woman 84. Just the, the colors. Yeah. yeah. There was one other one. Um, it's Devil Tree number one has a second print. It's from Blood Moon Comics. I don't know if it'll be on there or not, but I just strike my, strike my fancy. It struck my fancy because. You know, watching that you... show. <laughs> no. I haven't watched many much CW at all. Tonight on Hunting with McClay. There we go. <laughs> I know, like it's what it's the live hell. action. Yeah. What's it called? Yeah. Devil Tree. I do like yellow covers. It, yeah, it's Devil Tree. Here it is, right here. Yeah. So there's a that's number four, but they got a number one second print coming out also. That, um. Considering it's Blood Moon Comics, I don't imagine too many of those are out there, especially for it to get a second cool. print. But here's here's this is this the second print? No. Anyways. Interesting. It's gonna definitely be a fun Wednesday to hunt. Yeah. It's gonna, yeah. yeah. There's um, a lot. A lot of great books. Spawn this spawn cover is pretty interesting. But this is what you're looking for. Yeah. Stupid homage. Why does that guy have to homage the good stuff? At least he's. I was like, when I first saw it, I was like, what the hell? And I was like, well, yeah, he's doing his own shit. (laughs) Yeah. I like it. I think it's cool. It looks a little rough, but. Yeah, it reminds me of like uh, Hellraiser, right when, you know, the first Hellraiser when he's starting to. Yeah. eat, uh, Eat and build his body up. What? What is you see? They're making a new Hellraiser, by the way. Yes, with a female as a female pinhead or something, right? Yep. She's interesting. Very cool. Comic book day tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yep. So So everyone walk to your LCS, right? Because you're not getting gas this week. Yeah, carry your freaking radio flyer wagon so you can put all your books in it. 